Hey, welcome back to Hardworking Man. Today, we're smashing pumpkins. This is gonna be a lot of fun. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We're not just smashing pumpkins. We're running them through our all wood log splitter. We're running them through the Dyna SC16 rapid split. And we're running them over with our Yakta lawn mower. All absolute beast of machines. Why would we smash pumpkins? Well, John from Frickin' Jeep challenged us to smash pumpkins. Go to John's channel, check out his video. He probably had the most fun making that video out of any of his videos he's ever filmed. And he knew we'd be up for the challenge because here at Hardworking Man, we like to go above and beyond and do crazy things. Now, John runs a super old, like he is, homemade log splitter. It's fast, but it can't do what this all wood can do. And even when it comes to smashing pumpkins, this thing's about to do something you've never seen before. The last pumpkin we smash is gonna be extra special. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's start smashing things. All right, here on Hardworking Man, we don't just run log splitters. We run lawn mowers, we run everything. This Yakta, they challenge us, put it to the test, see what it can do. Do stuff you shouldn't do with a lawn mower. You probably shouldn't run over pumpkins and gourds. Now, that last one, I don't know if it's gonna get under the deck, but if it does, that will probably be the most impressive shooting out. This whole portion could be a dud, but we're gonna see. I think it's gonna devastate these gourds. Just blow them out into the ditch. I mean, you don't know unless you try, right? So that was pretty underwhelming. I'm gonna lift the deck up, try to get over these last three, and then drop it down. And hopefully we get something worth watching. So that was not nearly as awesome as I thought it would be, you but the Yakta just destroyed those pumpkins. Let's move up to the Allwood and see what that thing can do. Well, let's hope this is more eventful than the lawnmower fail. <laughs> Oops. I guess we need a sturdier back plate. Great idea, Heath! Alright, I feel like John practiced this because our first attempt was a fail. This is a maple, a big slab of maple. It shouldn't give way before this pumpkin explodes. So let's see what happens here. John, the worst part about this challenge is now we have to clean this mess up. I have a good idea for the last one. Follow me. All right, so this is Rachel's idea. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. She says if you take coal and put enough pressure behind it, it turns into a diamond. So she says with this all wood and how much power it has, 
Why can't we turn a pie pumpkin into a pie? So we're gonna crush this thing and see what happens. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me see you do that, John. You got a pun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> The dogs are happy about this challenge. I didn't know dogs ate pumpkin. That fatty will eat anything. Maybe it's good for their digestive system. Are you eating the pie? You getting the pie? <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching Hard Working Man. Thanks to John from Frickin' Jeep for helping us create a terrible mess out of our equipment that now we have to clean up. But luckily it's warm enough weather I can get the power washer out get this all taken care of. What do you guys think? Is anybody gonna beat taking a pie pumpkin and crushing it into a pumpkin pie? Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.